We're still sleeping. You gotta be quiet. Ah! Oh! oh, I had that one dream about the interface again. There it is! Oh no! I'm Game Guy. It's time for more Let's Play Legend Zelda Diminished Cap. Hey lady, I got a shield. I got a shield. Are you impressed with me? Are you impressed with my shield? Shield is on the A button, so I, 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 it's the same one as talking, but uh, details. Oh, I guess I was just sleeping over here the whole time. Yes, I'm awake. Thank you for noticing, Master Smith. Mm. Stand at my side. The King of Hyrule is about to speak. All right, if you say so. Ah. As you have all heard, a sorcerer named Vati has cursed my fair Zelda and turned her to stone. That was very rude. Uh, if we had the sacred Picuri blade, we could likely have broken the curse. But Vati shattered the blade. Hmm. I have not given up hope. Uh, what do you know about the Picuri? Uh, not much beyond the fairy tales. Uh, they're supposed to be very tiny, but if I'm remembering correctly, uh, yes, the one from Fairy Tales. Uh, okay, we've uh, good. Yeah, uh, but Picuri are no mere legend. They most certainly exist. Uh, no one outside the royal family knows the truth about them. Uh, the Picuri who forged the sacred blade live deep within Minish Woods. Uh, they should be able to repair the broken blade and reforge the sword. That sure is convenient. What? Then we must dispatch the soldiers there at once. Nah, soldiers will not do. They are too weak. We must send a child. <laughs> ah, yes, the Bakure will not show themselves to anyone but chill. Oh, I was joking, but all right. <laughs> Our soldiers could search for days and still find no sign of them. Hmm, yes, I see. If that's the case, then why not send G-Guy? He is a child of which you speak. Oh, G-Guy is... G-Guy, what? G-Guy has recovered. Then yes, I would like to ask this of him. Uh, please turn my precious Zelda back to normal. Uh, the Picuri should know how to create a new sacred sword. It will be a dangerous journey now that these monsters have been freed. That's why sending a child is such a good idea. Please take this sword with you, along with the broken sword, because you'll obviously need both. <laughs> yes, I got the broken Picuri blade. This is part of the sword that needed to be reforged. Don't lose it. Lose what? I dropped it immediately. Ah, yes, I got Smith's sword. Told you I was going to use it. You didn't believe me. Gosh. Ah, yes. Send the soldiers and search for Vati at once. All right, I'm sure they'll do their job very good. Uh, deep in Minish Woods, you'll find a place called Deepwood Shrine. Once humans and Picuri shared that shrine as a meeting place. I think it would be best if you started your search there. Probably a good idea, maybe. A map? I could use one of those to tell where I am. Just press start and then L or R to open the map. I've marked the location of the forest for you. Good luck and be careful. I did it. I got the map of the dungeon. The dungeon known as Hyrule. It's not really a dungeon. Not yet, anyway. <laughs> I'm on to you, game. I know what's happening. I'm counting on you, G-Guy. Only you can break Vati's curse and free Princess Zelda. You sure about that? I'm sure there are many people who could do it besides me, but apparently... Uh, the fate of the world rests on the shoulders of a child, yet again. That sure seems to happen a lot, doesn't it? <laughs> like, for what, for whatever reason, you know, everybody, everybody counts on the children to do their dirty work. Is there anything up here other than a door that does not let me progress to anywhere? Oh, that one's even locked. I might be able to open that one in the future, but even then, maybe not. That was my exploration of the castle, and that was me not quite going outside of the castle enough. Um, it's a very, very sad day that we live in. They're just guards guarding the hedge maze for some reason. I was rolling very slowly. I guess these count as stairs. I mean, they look like stairs, so I suppose it makes sense. All right, an Octorok that I just kind of casually murdered for no reason. 
<laughs> Take that, guy! I got a shield, you can't hope to defeat me! You have no chance whatsoever! Oh no, a bird! This is just the part of the game where, you know, the small child runs around destroying the local wildlife. Meanwhile, I got a green rupee. I am now officially rich. That's how it works, you know? You, you get a green rupee, and you are rich. I mean, it's just... It's in... in, in, in infallible proof! Words are difficult for some reason. I gotta remember how to play this game. The A button does not pick up stuff. The A button does not pick up stuff. It's the R button. The R button allows me to roll. It also allows me to, to do this. I, I, can, I can I can do this. This, this Yep, that's the thing that I can do. I, oh, hello. There's just a bunch of people here now. Hello, what's, uh, what's happening here? Go repair the steps next. Oh, no. Yes, my name is Muto. Muto Matau. My name is Mutton. I'm the carpenter guy. I carpent things. Uh, the king of Hyrule entrusted me with this project. Sorcerers attack. <laughs> Sorcerers attack. Tore things up pretty bad around here. You know, kid, you shouldn't be playing near the construction zone. Probably not. Yet, uh, the king sent me after, you know, um mystical little tiny people in the forest filled with monsters that's obviously a much better option <laughs> so uh there you go i guess this just means i can't go back to town i mean i i know where i need to go but at the same time it's like i was gonna go back to town and say hello town how are you i'm gonna have to really get used to controls in this game <laughs> i keep like pressing the a button to do things and it's not helping i got a heart hearts hearts are healing healy heals they, they heal me. That's a little enemy dude that I killed. I'm just chopping all the bushes that I don't need to chop when I just need to go this way. All along, I needed to go to Lon Lon Ranch. That's that's a bunch of places. I like all these... Oh, hello. You are dudes that pop out of the ground. Dudes that pop out of the ground, and now you're dead. Sure sucks to be all of you. Minish Woods lie to the south. If you get lost, check your map. I mean, there's not a whole lot of places you can really go at this point, so, I mean, it's not exactly hard to, to, to find, you know. There's, there's a very select amount of locations. We're just kind of walking through here. Uh, I can't even go into Lon Lon Ranch, I guess. There's a stump. I can change the season, except I left my Rod of Seasons at home. I'm sorry. I am stuck in a hole watching a Goron. My life's dream is complete. <laughs> I have now figured out the ways of the world. I have now figured it all out. Everything in life, I've I've figured it all out. I can go in this house. There's no one here, though. But I can sure go in this house. Pots cannot be broken with a sword in this game. It's a very sad affair. But I got five rupees. It's, it's, it's kind of nice. Kind of nice. I'm just... You know, no one's here. They won't mind if I just break all their pots. I mean, as long as Mr. Watch doesn't tell anybody. Shut up. You're not allowed to tell anybody that I'm destroying their crops and breaking their pots. It's my right as the hero of Hyrule to do that. I, it has been decreed by all video games everywhere. You know, that's, that's how it goes. The protagonist has the right to do whatever they darn well please. That's just, this is how it goes. Uh, if I kill that guy, he doesn't pop out with all of his friends. Hyrule Castle that way, Minish Woods is this way, that's where I needed to go! Hey look, I'm in that place I needed to go to. I needed to be here, apparently. This is a place that exists. Uh, there's a heart piece over there, uh, but spoiler alert, Link cannot swim. Okay, I don't lose hearts for falling in water in this game. That's kind of a variable in some Zelda games where if you can't swim and you fall in the water, sometimes you lose hearts, sometimes you don't. It's not always consistent, unfortunately. This is a bunch of stuff all around that I cannot interact with, and it's kind of disappointing. I'm very disappointed in you, Minish Woods. You're supposed to give to me the riches of the world. I only have 32 rupees. This is a travesty. Uh, this water's shallow, so I can step in it all I want, but there's not much I can do here other than cause the fog to appear. Dang it, Fog. Now you're back. And now there's a choo-choo here. Stupid train. Get, get over here so I can slash you with the sword. 
All right, come on. The fog doesn't even know what the heck. Fog, you're confused. I can tell that you're very confused. That's fine. You know, I, you, you aren't exactly sentient, so I suppose I don't blame you. But still. Uh, hey, can I change the season? Nope. I guess I cannot. Darn. I was hoping that would be the gimmick of this game, even though that has nothing to... Even though there's not even season in the title. I would just be too easy. I'm not sure why I'm compelled to cut all the bushes. Help me! Oh no, something is happening. That guy wasn't there before. Uh... Ow, help! Somebody! Can't anyone hear me in the middle of the woods where no one should be? No, I guess not. There's a heart piece over here. Yeah! I can get one of those. Now I need to get several more. Uh, turns out this is all just a dead end all along, except for that heart piece. Aww. I was hoping for progress, and sadly all I got is a guy yelling at me. A and a heart piece, I suppose. That That's kind of important, right? Hello? Hey, kid! You there! Ow! Don't just stand there, do something! Uh, excuse me, I am a child. I don't know, it, it is kind of funny. <laughs> in, in some way. Aw, oh, you guys stopped! Why'd you stop? Now you're just wandering aimlessly and shooting rocks at nothing. Ow. Now you hit me, so now it's personal. <laughs> ah, well done! That was close! Well, not really, they just kind of started ignoring you for some reason. But that's beside the point. No, oh, what in the world is a lone child doing so deep in the woods? Well, you know, the king told me to do it, and I can't exactly say no to the king. Ah, oh, I see. One. Why did I say one? For some reason, I thought the word the was one. I don't know. I don't know how that happened, but okay. Vadis cursed someone. What? A sacred blade? I know nothing of this! Is that so? I see, I see. Well, uh, you know, you and I have quite a lot in common. Mm. You see, I too am on a quest to break the curse of Vadis. Well, that's convenient. And you say the reforging the sacred blade can break this curse, huh? Well, then you've found yourself a companion, my boy. Ah, my name is Ezlo. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Alright, cool. We have a new friend! Wait! You walk so quickly! Too quickly, in fact! Well, I mean, I only have, um... I only have, like, uh, one speed of walking. And I didn't even roll. So, uh, I guess I can just... Well, if you're not even gonna move at all, I, c I can't exactly, uh... You know, help you there. Ah, if it isn't one thing, it's another! You are a troublesome boy! Ow! Rude! Uh, now you can't possibly leave me behind. Huh, it's quite comfortable up here. More comfortable than it looks, surely. Oh, uh, I don't know. I don't, probably shouldn't mention I haven't showered in a few days. I mean, what? Um, yes. Much easier. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yep. All right. Quit your squirming. Can't you sit still? Well, I haven't moved at all outside of blinking since you jumped on my head. So, ah, uh, yes, that's it. Much better. Ah, now I suppose a boy like you still has much to learn about the world. If ever you need my insight, press select and I'll be happy to help. Oh, so you're basically Goombella, got it. Alright, such a hopeless child. Rude, I'm right here. If you're going to insult me, at least do so behind my back so I can't hear it. Gosh. <laughs> Hold on for a moment, my boy. We stumbled across something important. Look, I forgot my rod of seasons at home, alright? This isn't anything important at all. It's a stump. You stupid. Uh, you're far too big to meet them now. You call me fat? That's rude. This guy's rude. First he jumps on my head and he, and, he, and he calls me fat. Rude. Did I say rude yet? <laughs> ah, humans call them Pakuri, but they refer to themselves as the Minish. That's, that's, that's weird, but alright. Uh, strange how in the world of humans, only this forest has kept that name. Anyhow, deep in the forest, they built a tiny village where many live now. 
Uh, but if we're to enter the village, we'll have to make you touch a, sm a bleh, touch smaller. We'll have to make you touch smaller. I don't know what smaller is, but you need to touch it. Ah, look at that. At first glance, it appears to be a mere stump, yes? Why, yes. Yes, it does. Thank you, Ezlo. <laughs> no! That stump is a portal used by people long ago to adjust their size. Because you can do that. <laughs> With my help, you can use it to shrink down to minish size. Now, just stand on the stump and press R to shrink. Now, to return to normal, stand next to the stump and press R. Get me up there and I'll give you a try. Alright, so I just place you on the stump. Or I could jump on it myself and do it. I guess that's important or whatever. Oh man, magical symbols in my dancing hat. <laughs> yes. Alright, now I am itsy bitsy, tiny tiny. Yay. Ah, welcome to the world through the eyes of a minish. Now, aren't you glad you saved me? No need to thank me, though. I wasn't going to anyway. Uh, the portals that reduce your size are all around in different shapes and sizes. Yeah, if you want to return to normal, stand next to the portal and press R. Uh, but there's one thing you must know. Being minish-sized is full of dangers. No kidding. <laughs> uh, mere puddles at your normal size are bottomless swamps to the minish. Mm. And as your companion, if anything bad happens to you, it happens to me too. So proceed with caution, my lad. If not for your sake, then for my own. Well, I mean, I, I like living too, you know. Uh, so these little patches of grass here are like hills. And also, I can't swim in the puddles any... Well, I mean, I can't go in the puddles anymore. Now they're just like deep water. Darn. Also, whenever you're tiny, for some reason... Oops. Well, for some reason, like, you get this little, like, quote bubble thing. Even though it's... I mean, I guess it's to make it a little easier to spot yourself on screen, and I get that, but... Generally, it's not hard to find yourself, because the camera's always centered on you anyway, but... You know, details. Sometimes you'll go through these areas with giant stuff. Even though they're not giant in... Ret uh, they're giant in perspective only. <laughs> let's Let's go with that. Ah, yes, the Minish Village. It is a place that exists. Hmm. It appears we have found the Minish Village. Hey, look! There are some of them now, I assume. Hmm. Uh, words that are ununderstandable. Yes. Oh, well, alright. Yeah, I gather it's been quite some time since they last saw a human. Ah, oh, what's that? You didn't understand what they were saying just now. Ah, yes, uh, that was the language of the Minish. It's a little different from the dialect I am most familiar with. Uh, I'm afraid I didn't catch hate and repels evil, I assume. I assume correctly, obviously. Anyway, <laughs> I will see you later and goodbye.